All right, guys, so today this video is about a rear. Not just any rear, but the rear of the Maserati Ghibli. So something I haven't touched on, which I don't know why, maybe because I'm always driving, is the passenger space. Um, if, if it's practical, if it does what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to be an everyday driver, exotic entry-level sports car, right? Um, it's not the Quattro Porte where you get all of the power with the luxury grand touring type car but something that you can enjoy with with your friends um and and be practical at the same time um you know have a little bit of speed some style all that good stuff so does the ghibli do that correctly not sure i have it written in the back i've only had a few passengers in the back but i'm going to test it out for myself i've never sat in the back of the car I'm gonna go to the passenger side because my seat's probably back too far for me to even sit back there. We'll find out. Is it practical? Um, so we'll hop in here. Of course, this is the Zinnia interior um, for the 2016 Ghibli S. The, this was a special option, you know, not all of them come with it. So it's 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 got its style because you know the same luxury you get in the front, you get in the back with the red uh, leather here, also the white stitching. And then you have the silk inserts throughout the seat of the car. Big engraved Maserati logo there. And in the door, you have the same kind of luxury that comes with that as well. Also, the stereo system that carries to the back. The black piano wood, aluminum door handle. Everything looks pretty good. So from a style t standpoint, it does what it needs to do. When people get in the back, they know they're getting in a Maserati. So let's sit in, see if it's actually practical with the legroom space. So we'll see what it looks like. All right, so stepping in, not too bad at all. I have wiggle room. Now I am 5'11 and I have plenty of room back here to sit and enjoy the view, which is an amazing view there. Um, also my headroom is pretty good too. Um, silk headliner there. Sorry, I kind of moved that kind of fast, but yeah, like I'm not touching at all. I have plenty of room. Actually, you can probably see here. Looks like a monkey patting my head. Um, I have plenty of room to sit in the back and it, it works pretty good for me. Um, you also have your, um, back here, you have your net to do any storage. Um, pretty basic, simple um, air controls there that um, you, know, you just do your air. It's nothing fancy whatsoever. Um, so you're not getting any kind of technology back here. Pretty much with the Ghibli, you don't get a, tons of technology. Um, right here in the center, pull down your center console. And there, cup holders, very small cup holders. So not exactly sure what kind of drinks you're getting to put back there, but might not be too safe putting a passenger back here um, with drinks. So not too functional there. Also, you pull this up here, have your outlets here, so you got your USB, 12 volt here. So somebody can charge their phone, and if you have the cigarette lighter adapter, you can charge your phone there. Uh, put any little storage back there, tuck it in, put it right in. The Ghibli will probably comfortably sit three people. Um, I wouldn't always recommend it. Um, you might need the Quattro port for a little bit more room, um, but you can fit, you know, two people very comfortably back here. I feel good in the seat. Now, this is a bucket seat, okay? So it feels like a bucket seat. Now, as far as a long ride in this, it probably feels somewhat similar to how the front feels sitting in the driver or passenger seat. And for long rides, I wouldn't go anything over three hours in it, um, and then you're kinda gonna lose your comfortability. So, I mean, if you're looking to drive your Ghibli a lot longer than that with passengers, I'd make a couple stops um, just to rest the butt. <laughs> but other than that, um, this is a great, great place to be. Um, but not a lot of technology, you know? You don't have any screens, no infotainment, nothing electronic here. Um, so that would be the only gripe that I would see. Pretty much for the most part, you want your sound, you want your comfort, and then it's an exotic you know, car, so you want the sound from the um, exhaust as well. 
and you want to be able to enjoy the ride. The ride's going to be kind of stiff. It, it's the Maserati Ghibli suspension is stiff. Um, so, you know, it's not comfortable for a grand touring kind of long trip. I'll give you that much. Um, and that's with me just my experience sitting in the front seat in the driver's seat. But other than that, I mean, you got your lights here, your dome light, and air, net, and your storage, and USB, 12 volt. That's pretty much it. I mean, not much more you really need um, besides just, you know, what you have. And, you know, it's pretty watered down. And, you know, a lot of it is cost savings and it works it does its job so for what it is and what it's trying to be what it's trying to do it does it correctly um if you're looking for a little bit more go with the quattro port for your four seater comfortably um you know set in car but other than that goes pretty well with me um i i enjoy the back seat but i'd rather be in the driver's seat controlling this beast what do you guys think? Is it pretty shitty? Is it all right for you, for what you would need? Um, let me know what do you guys think because I'm always interested. Um, as I said, it does what it needs to do, gets groceries, goes at a, a nice speed, looks good while doing so, and carries passengers doing that. So let me know what you guys think. Um, comment in the comments below. Always, I'll try to get to as many of them as I can if there's a lot. Um, like, subscribe. Let me know, guys. Take care.